Here's a fun little thing using shape, color, and for loops. You got all these tall, colorful rectangles, and when you move your mouse over one of them, it takes off. So you can do this. Okay, let's talk about how to make it. We'll start with an empty project in Game Lab, and we're going to make a variable on line one up here, and let's call it a uh, let's call it piece. I don't really have a good name. And then instead of setting it to anything, let's just put square brackets up there. And the reason we're doing that is we're going to create an array, and it's going to be empty to start. And then we're going to use a for loop to create all the different uh, vertical little rectangles. So I think I need 17 of them, just like that. And then inside of that, I'm going to make each one. Now I do have to do something a little strange here. You see this var sprite equals thing? i got to take the var off. And I'll explain why. Okay, so I actually split it up into two here, like this. So the var is on line one. I need to create it outside of the for loop and then, and then create the individual ones inside of the for loop. So I'm going to put an i in parentheses like that. Okay, so let's talk about what we've got here. We're saying uh, make a group or an array called piece. So make an array of rectangles called pieces. Now this makes each individual one from i equals 0 to i equals 17. So there's going to be p square bracket 0, p square bracket 1, p square bracket 2, like that. Okay, uh, this tells where on the screen they're going to be. I'm going to put the x position at i times 25. So when it's a uh, when i is 0, the first one's going to be drawn over here at the 0 spot, and the next one's going to be drawn 25 over, 25 over, uh, just like that. So let's go ahead and draw these on the screen and see what shows up. So there's a bunch of rectangles there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see where they are, so let's give each one a different color. Now, I kind of wanted to use fill, except these are sprites, not rectangles, so I need to use shape color instead. So let's set each one, so I need to say piece square bracket i. Each one's shape color needs to be a different color. So to do different colors, we're going to do an RGB. We'll set these all to math random number. And the numbers need to be between 0 and 255. Let me do that two more times. between 0 and 255. I couldn't see over there, so I was just tabbing over. 0, 255, 0, 255. So it looks like this. All right, let's run it. I uh, can't set property of, oh yeah, I tried to set the color before I had created them, so I need to switch the order of these two. There we go. Uh, now that's starting to work, but I want them to be the full height of the screen, so right here where I created the sprite, I'm going to hit right to give myself two more parameters. The first one is how wide I want it to be. I'm actually okay with its width right now. And the second one is its height, and we want to make it 400 pixels tall. So now we've got this. That's looking good, so then the only thing that's left is what do you want to happen. I'm going to move this draw sprites down inside the loop, and then I'm going to say if the mouse is over, and now I need to choose which sprite the mouse is going to be over, and this is a little tricky. I want to say if the mouse is over p square bracket i, like that, then do something. For now we'll just uh, set its velocity Ooh, we could do a velocity y. I've never done that. Let's do this. We'll make them slide down off the screen. Okay, so as is, it's not going to know what to do because we need to go through another for loop to check every single one of these. So let's take this guy, copy it, come down here, paste it, and get rid of the inside. 
And the only point of this for loop is to go through each individual uh, bar, each individual piece, and check it to see if the mouse is over it. And if so, send that one down the screen. Okay. That's not working. Oh, I need a background in there. Should put a white background in there. There they go. So now they're all sliding away. Ooh, that's really fun. Okay, if you wanted it like the example that I showed at the beginning where they go left and right instead, then you just give it a velocity x instead of a velocity y. Right here. Uh, and then the other thing I did was I set, so that you wouldn't know which direction it was going to go, I set its velocity to between negative 5 and 5. So when you mouse over, they might go up and they might go down. All right, let's do with X really quickly. So that's making them go left and right. And just for fun, while those are disappearing, uh, let's set its rotation to a random number between negative five and five. So this time they should jiggle when I put my mouse over them. That's really fun. Or we could even set uh, its rotation speed whenever your mouse goes over them, so they're all going to be spinning at different speeds. That's really fun. All right, make something neat. Have fun. Be original. Goodbye.